Costa basis. Okay, so why your birthday? That's, why your birthday? Of, of all, the, all the days in the year, why would you choose your birthday for this particular holiday? Unless it was about celebrating yourself. Because it feels right. What, what do you mean it feels right? It feels like a good, good day to celebrate something. Yeah, like Mexican Flag Day. Yeah. Chris, Chris, just admit that, that you just want, you, you really think you're so important, that you're so saintly and perfect that you think your birthday should be a holiday. Just admit that to me. Well, I am not saintly or perfect. But you think that you're such an important person that your birthday should be a holiday. Admit it. It's about your ego. I partially agree with you on that, but it's actually a lot more than just "quote unquote" ego. What what more could it be? I am not sure right now because I cannot come up with the right with the right answer, with the appropriate answer for that. <laughs> well then, well then, you shouldn't be trying to create a holiday, Chris. You sh- you shouldn't really be trying to do anything until after you've come up with a logical reason to do it. Okay, I mean, it, well, I, okay, like well, countless I times, I've countless times I've asked you why you do things, and you fall back on, "I'm not sure." It, it felt right, or you use your emotions as an excuse, like when you you brutally murdered, you know, me and Evan and Mal and Sean, and in, in your in your sham mock trial. You know, oh, because you were still angry about the ads. Let's go back and to that. Thing. What? What other thing? What, how you portray me and my and my electric hedgehog, even in a parodic way, as uh, as uh, mentally as definitely mentally retarded for one characteristic. Chris, how many and times then, have and, you? And, and then brutally killing killing us off like you did. You brutally killed and, me and, 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 and feeling essentially explicitly us like that. Sexually, but you, did, but you did all that first. Oh, so it makes it okay for you to do anything. Chris, how many times... Okay, okay, you, you accuse me of, of making a parody, um, and I, I, I can't even begin to count the number of times I told you Asper Choose Not a Parody, but you accuse me of making a parody, like it's such an evil thing. Um, how many times have you fallen back on describing Sonichu as a parody of Sonic and Pikachu when people ask you? And when you do it, it's a good thing. And you use it as a defense against, you know, uh, attacks by Nintendo and Sega and other companies. But why is it when when you think someone else is parodying you, um, shit hits the fan? Why is that, Chris? Well, for one thing, you have for, you definitely have portrayed a sense of retardedness and stupidity, and even worse, in that sense. And you, you know what? Views that came from me and my pages in and the videos, and put them in your book. Like you, like you definitely drew a dildo and a sports bra as among as among one thing as among two things that Aspergy was digging out of his chest in the first book. Have you ever seen Team America? Do you remember that movie? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that movie. Did you like it? It was okay. Do you remember how they made Matt Damon retarded in that movie? Hmm. Well, they did. Some some, yeah. some of the jokes do not uh, hit me right away because they're not that um, they're not that obvious to me. Okay. Or well, I don't um, know much about the context of it. Okay. Like I do well, not know. Um, like like for example, the, the recent uh, New Family Guy where uh, Chris. Dates the uh, Down syndrome girl, and then uh, apparently the uh, joke where she says, "I'm the daughter of a former Alaskan something. governor." It was, it, was, it was Sarah Palin. Chris. It was about yeah, yeah. A lot, former Alaskan senator. Now how was it? But yeah, it was no, both no, it was, no, it was the governor. Then I, then I learned governor. in an article in today's Washington Post that uh, that apparently it was meant as an attack on Sarah Palin. 
and that did not, and I did not know that when I first heard that. Sarah Palin. I was, I just thought it was a general statement. Okay, um, let's. We're getting off on a wild tangent here. My my question is, um, why, why is parody such a, a bad thing to you? And when other people. Uh, why, uh, I did not understand half that question. Why is parody blind why is, to me? Why do you think parody is bad when other people do it? Wow. Oh. I mean, it so, it kind of sounds like um, if I had drawn you as a perfect, you know, super strong, you know, master of the universe, like you draw yourself in your comic, then you would have been fine with it because I would have been kissing your ass in that that case. That but. That would be considered that would be considerably agreeable right there between us. Yeah. So you uh, prefer that people just kiss your ass all the time? It may, it may, it helps it makes you feel better. It makes you feel encouraged. Makes you feel better. Chris, you're an adult. You really want people to kiss your ass all the time? Well, yeah, not all the time. Why don't you but learn I don't to like, deal with I, the I don't like I don't like I don't like constant abuse. What kind of tor- and torment and slanders and cursings? Chris, oh, what torment and slander and cursing? Hey, Chris. Okay, okay. You don't like slander. Oh, what about all the lies you've told about me? What about? Okay, remember a while ago you made a video trying to hypnotize people into hating Aspertu, like you spoke in backwards Spanish or something. Remember when you cursed me with the death threats? And I apologized for that. No, 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 not no. You're not getting away with that that bullshit excuse this time, Chris. Okay, you can't just do things, do horrible things, and then offer a fake apology afterwards. That's not okay. That's not what apology is. You know, you claim to be a Christian. This is really. Do you really think this is what God wants His children to do? Mm. Do you think yeah, God? Right. It is not. It is not something that uh, God would like. Yeah, well, you're not a Christian. I am a Christian. I no, am no, Christian. you're not. You don't practice. practice. No, baptism doesn't mean shit. You don't even try to practice what Christianity teaches. Well, for one thing, I don't have a total understanding of all the rules. and uh, Well, you can't be a very good Christian if you don't understand rules. And plus, there's a whole lot to memorize, and it, and and yeah, one, religion one is hard. God isn't does it? want one of the things God wants us to do is not to worry about every single detail. But you worry about every single. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Okay, no, that's not how it works. All right, God wants you to follow the rules that He lays down. God wants you to try to be a good person. You don't even try to be a good person. You are completely selfish, and you do whatever you want, and you demand that other people go out of their way for you to do things uh, you know, as you want them to. And then when someone starts pestering you, you offer a superficial apology and hope that that smooths it all over. And then you draw a comic you know, negating even that simple apology where you threaten people and murder them in your comic thereby proving that you were just lying to the person who, you know, thought that you actually understood the point he was trying to get across. God God condemns lying, you know. <sighs> Admit that you lied to me when um, you said, when you agreed with me that you didn't have a right to use Simona. Admit that you have always believed that Simona is yours. I'll admit that. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So um, all of our previous calls were just lies then? Not, no, no, no. Yeah, they yeah, actually they... happened. Yes, they happened, Chris, but your responses were lies. I know the phone calls happened in reality. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let me uh, get back. Anyway, I don't mean to go off topic, but I want to get back to an early to the earlier topic about uh, what's sure. wrong with uh, you making a parody of a parody. Okay, well, 
take, okay, well, take a cue from what they did in one episode of Robot Chicken. I don't watch uh, Robot Chicken, so this reference means nothing to me. Hmm. Well, anyway, anyway, one, anyway, one. Try explaining it to me without use of TV references. Consider a remake of a remake of an original movie. That was over. That was a blockbuster. Okay. What about it? What about a remake of a remake? It's not very good. Sometimes they are. I mean, Sometimes remakes are better. Did you see the new Dawn of the Dead? That was way better than that George Romero shit. I have not, I have oh, not well, seen either. I have not seen either Dawn of the Dead. You probably shouldn't because there's gore in it, and I know how much you hate that. I don't, mind gore, I don't mind gore up to a certain point. Well, obviously, given how gory your murders of of, uh, of me was. But okay, I'm still uh, I'm having a little trouble understanding why um, parody is okay when you do it, but it's not okay when someone else does it. Hmm. Because you proudly proclaim sonnet you to be a parody but at the same time you accuse other people of doing parodies like they're doing bad things hmm okay well think about this how about if somebody did a parody to ask for you and yeah. made him and made him look even more stupid more retarded and actually brutally killed him in all the blood and gory detail, or had him sexually raped in a prison cell of all dudes. How would you feel if you saw that? Uh, I don't think I'd give a shit, honestly. I mean, if it was a, if it was well done, then, you know, I might kind of laugh at it if, it, if it was, you know, meant to be a funny parody of me. See, I don't take it's myself completely... Well, I don't take myself completely so, seriously like you do, so I can laugh at my own foibles, and I can laugh at the foibles of my comic. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. That is a theory, yes. Mm, so I am not 100%. Uh, that is a, a, a previous... Expression. You don't? Yes. Yeah. So you don't you don't you don't really agree with it though you don't think imitation is um is ever a good thing. Not one hundred percent. I mean, I'm like that. Because Sonic is an, an imitation of Sonic, and you must agree that Sonic is a good thing. Yeah, because it was because it was originally meant in a positive light, but then I get all the inputs from the trolls and all that on the internet. And then that just point ticks me off. Okay, if the guy who saw, or the guy who created Sonic, I don't know what his name is, but if he came along and discovered your Sonic 2 comic, he would probably uh, see that at least half of it is just you attacking trolls. I mean, the comic's not even really about Sonic 2. It's about you, and it's about your, your war against trolls. Well, that's to be undone because I'm because like I, because I have just after I finish your book number ten I will be making less appearances in the book and in the books and then and now it will be more about are you gonna, are you going to do that reboot that we talked about there will be a form of a reboot yes why did you um, do these pages then if you're going to do a reboot. I mean, you know, you, I, mean, you, I, I mean, if I'm going to be making less appearances in the comics, I figure I may as well let myself go out with a bang. Um, no, no, Chris. Chris, I explained to you, a reboot is a complete restart. What happens in the reboot will have nothing to do with the comics you've made thus far. And, you know, you said you had, like, 30 pages. You only uploaded, like, 16. That was the amount I had to complete number, book number 10. And the book is completed. You said you had like 30 pages.